Welcome guys, my name is Sebastian. Um, today we're gonna to talk about how not to buy a truck. I've had an experience I wanted to talk to you about. This past week, a customer came in, an owner operator that came in with a truck um, to do some repair work. And we started chatting as I always do and try to learn you know, the background, how they started and how long they've been in business. And what struck me was he didn't really know um, enough about the truck to, to decide uh, whether he's in a good position or not currently, especially with slower work right now and um, not a lot of opportunities to, to drive and make money uh, as an own operator. So the reason I wanted to talk to you about it is because how, the way I've seen a pattern since um, working with owner operators at the company at my company and or now right uh, now having them come to service trucks um, is how the decision making based on your current knowledge about trucks affects whether you're gonna succeed or not and how I always repeat make sure you learn about the trucks you're buying and it's not like buying a car uh, and we started, I kept talking to uh, the owner operator and I, we, I've realized that um, he m made that decision based on uh, two things. One, well, if I buy the newest truck I can buy for as little money as possible, that will be fine because the truck is gonna do just fine. And as many of you know, probably that didn't turn out the way um, he expected it was a 2013 or 14 um, a VD uh, 13 Volvo nice truck but as I started to walk around the truck and finding things that need to be fixed it, it, I got a little scared because I, I wanted to help that owner and tell him hey those are the things you should be looking at pretty soon but at the same time uh, there was just so many things wrong with that truck besides the emissions and the engine that um, it's gonna cost them a lot of money to, to stay on, on the road and with right now running one, uh, based out of Chicago one load a day coming back breaking all, even or losing money it's just not looking good so and the reason I decided to talk about this case is that I've seen those cases um, on and on and the the reason for that is the des decision he made to update a truck and he was a new owner operator but I see that with older owner operators that just my trucks falling apart I'm gonna get a newer truck um, is based on well since it's a newer truck I'll be fine and that's that's definitely not the case so what was wrong with the truck was few things. Uh, when he bought it, the, the, the set of tires needed to be replaced immediately, so which, which he did and cost him thousands of dollars and that pretty much wiped out his account. Uh, he needed to, he, his wheel seal was leaking. Uh, his front bushings, springs were completely gone. The, the shocks all around the, the truck were completely gone. Um, not only gone, but the front ones were leaking rusted out fallen apart and what else was there um those are the most obvious thing that i could have uh, picked up right away um drive shaft center bearing things like that are pretty easy to spot before you buy uh, that you can inspect before you actually buy a truck and that just made me think that i have to revisit that uh, a video and do a video about uh just making sure that doing homework before buying a truck and looking or even asking a shop hey can you send somebody out with me um or can i bring the truck to inspect it is definitely the way to go because i i hate to see owner operators make those decisions where they buy the newest truck for as little as little as possible and all of a sudden um they have a big problem on their uh hand as we kept talking about this truck, I figured, well, the mileage is about, you know, 600,000. Have you looked into 
the DPF filter was that changed and you didn't know what I was talking about. So, and that, that was definitely something that I'm like, whoa, there, there, there needs to be more awareness and resources about how to do that because that DPF filter is definitely going to be, he already had to do forced region a uh, um, few times. So what's, what's that doing is telling me that that, that filters need to, it's, is, is going to be, have to be changed um, and that's gonna cost him a lot of money. Whether he bakes it or change it, doesn't matter. He, it's just, it's gonna be costly for, for him. So definitely, definitely a position that you don't wanna be in. Uh, and if you are in this position, then um, make sure to look for more information and learn before you jump into a truck that's all i all, all i always repeat that because nobody's going to tell you you cannot blame it on dealers or on anybody else it's your responsibility to do homework about uh, the truck that you're buying and ultimately emissions are expensive trucks are semi trucks are very costly to service and with current market situation with 2019 being very slow, if you made that decision to go into owner operator uh, model and buy a truck in 2018, it was great. Now it's not. So you're definitely feeling that. And um, that's why homework and learning and making sure you ask questions. Uh, watch some of my videos about um, what to do before you buy a truck. All those relationships matter because they will help you make a better decision, informed decision on do I want to buy this truck or not? Do I really want to do this? Why am I trying to get into uh, being an owner operator? I've seen too many guys fail and um, too many bad decisions on buying trucks. And that's just, it's very sad. And I, this is the reason I started the channel is was to create a little bit more resources in that space to help drivers and owners that are thinking about that so um that's pretty much it thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't and see you next time